A visit to a few markets in Lagos shows there is still commendable compliance to basic COVID-19 protocols months after the government relaxed the lockdown and let markets open. Plus, a TV Africa correspondent Mary Chinda, who reports on a market on the Victoria Island part of Lagos, says there is even greater worry among traders, which is that of declining sales. Her report. The Sakatinibu market in Victoria Island buzzing as usual. It's 9 a.m. at this market and traders converge for what looks like some kind of sensitization and COVID-19 prevention. Only last week, the Lagos state government extended the time of the market. It's been actually past three months since the Lagos state government opened markets. But last week, the government gave the markets um, an extension of time from um, 3 p.m to 6 p.m. Actually, a three-hour increase in the extension of time. We're actually here to find out what the pulse of the people is concerning the three-hour extension. But now for the extension from three to six, okay, that only makes me uh, to leave the place, office or house to go wherever, any market I want to buy something. So I can live at ease. Before, maybe 2.30, they will all ring bell. Everybody should pack, pack, pack. You know, with the stress, sometimes you even forget a lot of things that you need to put in order. Sometimes we even forget to even pack our things. Just everybody pack, pack, pack. But now, they're standing to 6 o'clock. It's okay now. The general grouse, however, is that of low sales. Customers are not coming in. You open the door. You open the door. I open the door. Come the door. The mantra here is no nose max, no entry. Without hand washing, one is hardly allowed access to this market. As traders and buyers alike attempt to adjust to the new normal, there are others like Busayo who are reluctant to comply to the safety protocols. I've washed this morning twice and I've used hand sanitizer. So must I keep on washing? Away the hand sanitizer all the time. These market people are appealing to the government to normalize the market days by making it Mondays to Fridays. If they can be able to open it, resume it from Monday to five, or even if it's from say, nine o'clock to three o'clock, it'll be better. The next market we visit is the Oniru market on Victoria Island. Following the COVID-19 guidelines released by the state government, the food session of this market should be closed today. But the reverse is the case here, as we find the food market illegally open. At the sight of our camera, the meat vendors flee. Those who wouldn't flee complain that the rotation of the market has constantly translated into low income for them. This market don't tire me because we don't see no gain any anymore. One day off, one day on. You know even there's sufficient chores. One day one off lunch, but also I felt so die. But you can't die, yeah. Ah, Sarara. You don't tire. We don't tire for us. That is why you see me as I sit down so. Money no day. Naughty, naughty. Now, the desire to put food on the table is the reason most of this uh, um, traders, food vendors, are actually at the market today. Even though officially by government standards, this part of the food market is actually supposed um, to be closed. Well, I mean, they are still buyers and so they are sellers. From the Oniru market right here in Victoria Island, Lagos, Nigeria, Mary Trinda reporting for Plus TV Africa.